How's it going guys? We are back with another video here. Now this is a video, again, I played against this guy. Uh, he's gone 20-0 in Hut Champs, actually multiple times this year. Uh, his name is Sky uh, is Taken. Uh, so he's a very, very good player. And uh, this is a video that I really wanted to, to upload. I haven't really done one of these in a bit, uh, where I, I definitely show uh, exactly how my gameplay goes and, and what I did, alright, to, to win these to win this game. So, again, listen. I'm gonna pause things, I'm gonna point out specific things that I did and what I did wrong, okay? So, I mean, it's obviously not easy when you play against someone that's 20 and 0 before in Hut Champs. So, here we go. Go for the face off. And usually, I'm gonna go try to tie it up, but he tied me as well. So, we're gonna start with the puck, we're gonna get in the zone with Lemieux, he's gonna give me the zone very, very, very easily. Give me the slot, actually, but I don't have a shot there. I'm gonna drop it back to Ekblad, have Ekblad with Lemieux. Lemieux, look, 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 there's nothing there. I was thinking about shooting, but I just didn't really know what to do there. That was my bad. He forced a pass there, I got to Voracek. I hold it, I sent it across from McKinnon. Unfortunately, it wasn't there. Go back to the D to D. Uh, I looked for the guy in the slot there, but he was actually covering that up very, very well. So he's turning it over a lot here, but it's a two on two quickly now. Kateri, Lemieux, making sure I have a high skin in the slot. Make sure he doesn't give that uh, that opportunity uh, in, the sh in the slot right here, as you can see. So, for instance, like right here, uh, so I know right away it's a two on two. I'm gonna switch to high skin in. Uh, you know, make sure I, I respect obviously him on the on the left, but also make sure that I don't have Lemieux just wide open because he is wide open. If I don't switch to high skin, in, there could be trouble. But now he knows that he sees high skin in here that he wants to make sure he wants to try to you know give a different angle, right? So uh, right now he's looking for a different pass, a pass trying to look for a cross, but there's nothing available. My guys are back right now, and I have high skin and turn in right here to you know get the puck. So by the time he passes to Couturier, um, I simply recognize that he's gonna go to the guy in the slot because obviously he's gonna go to the guy in the slot because. I mean, that's like probably his best chance right there to score. So he finds Katuri, but I'm switched to high skinning, and I do that. And I just I quickly hit him and bum off the puck, and uh, we were able to, you know, somehow get the puck uh, off of that. And I actually ice it there, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, he was actually going for it, but um, he didn't. He didn't get it. it was no icing. So uh, we're gonna move it on here. He's breaking out, and uh, he's got high skin in. Trying to make it hard for him. Control Lemieux. Switch to the other forward there. Ekblad. Uh, again, just be patient here. Just have Ekblad uh, switch to. Make sure you're in that spot where he's gonna pass it, across, of course, because everyone passes in this game. Everyone, everyone loves their cross crease passes, so you know don't be stunned about it. So here's another thing that I I, I had Niermeyer thankfully back there. Uh, we make a nice hit into the corner here. He's going around the net again. Just stick with it though. You have N Nico trying there. That was a good try by him. Don't get me wrong, it was a good try by him. What I did here though, uh, as you can see, uh, I, I made sure he didn't have an opportunity to just like you know come out in front, right? So I have guys selected. I'm below the net, but I know I can switch to, to Niedermeyer, as I just did right there, to make sure the pass does not get, you know, across, that's for sure. That was kind of my mentality. So he tried a, a glitch shot. What I mean, like, I guess that's what I guess you want to call it. That's a cheese shot. Uh, if you get a shot from about here, it can go in uh, on the post. The goal comes off the post. So that's something to just kind of keep in mind. But not many players know of that. Uh, but if, if you get, if you if you come out like how he just did, you can you can definitely score that way, 100%. So uh, now we're up the we're up the ice here. Patience to Lafleur. Lafleur. I just cut towards the middle. I wait and I find Heisher across for an easy one-timer goal. It starts with a breakout, obviously. And I have Katuri on the right boards here. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely blocking because my face cam is blocking it. So uh, if you, this is a little, this is from my stream. This, of course. So uh, literally, I can't take my. If I took my face cam off, you just see my my cam from the stream. You see, so I can't really show you uh, anymore, unfortunately. But. Uh, as you can see, I have it with Couturier. I drop it to Lafleur, and Lafleur, I have numbers at this point. I know he sure is up there, and I'm pretty much past everyone else. I'm not. L McKinnon's not uh, catching up to me. He's just not. So right now, I have Lafleur, and I know if I go to he sure, probably he's gonna just come over and uh, and hit he sure quickly with Heiskanen. So what I do is I keep it with Lafleur, and I, I, he he again kind of he got a mess up here. He definitely kind of uh, stayed more towards the middle. He kind of went this way. I'm not sure why. Um, but we only get a good chance here, and then I, I recognize he's, he's going to obviously respect me, you know, not, not going to give you a, a clear lane to the net, but uh, he what he should have really done is switch off to Heiskanen to switch off to intercept this pass to Heischer. He didn't, and it's in the back of the net, just like that, for a one nothing lead for me. Um, definitely, it's, again, it's, it's not as easy as it, like as I say it, like, oh, he should have switched to that, he should have done that. It's not that easy. I, I understand that, guys. I really, really do, but um, it's just, it, it's definitely... Uh, you know, it, it's it's a challenging thing. It really is a challenging thing to like do all these things in motion, especially when you're playing a you know a high level hut champs game. It really is. So here we go. Pucks off to him, and he's got it. And uh, right now, again, I'm, I'm going towards the slot, making sure he doesn't have an easy pass to the middle of the ice, and uh, we we take that off. 
So here's Nobels. Again, he's going to carry the puck. Uh, drop it back to Keith. I'm trying to make sure his zone entry is not easy for him. I have Niedermeyer quickly. Have my defensive skills stick out, but I'm still sticking to the right. He's got Pulak, a shot there. A good, a good little shot there. Good save by my goaltender. Um, this is a very, very uh, you know even game so far. And he scores there. So basically what happened there uh, was... Okay. So right here, make a nice save. I lose a the puck there, unfortunately. Send, send, send in, I must have said. Sedin. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna losing it again in the corner right there. So he's gonna come out with that and uh, What's gonna happen right here is I do not switch to anybody if I switch over to Niedermeyer I can get this puck, but right now I say I stay on Sedin and I, I swear I don't, I don't ever switch It's an easy goal. It's an easy easy goal. You don't switch at all It's gonna be an easy goal Gabrick scores and he got the game tied up very quickly after I just scored so I mean that's on me You gotta understand that uh, you gotta you gotta just take that guy you, you can't you, you can't just simply uh, leave him off and, and expect the AI to do all the work for you. You just can't. It's just not gonna happen. So uh, We're moving it again here. Nice little, little uh, zone entry attempt there to Burns, but uh, Burns a little too slow there to gain the zone with uh, speed. So well, That's the only problem there. All right, so another face-off coming here. Neutral zone. I, like to, I try to go straight back usually on neutral zone face-off. I don't really like tying up. So uh, he tied me unfortunately here. So that's why I lost the face-off. But um, he, he ties up a lot. So that's something I, I definitely caught up on. So he gains the zone right here. I got coffee still Towards the middle of the ice. Huberto, we got to Benajad. I don't really have anything. I don't really have anything. So I waited for Huberto to skate up the, the right side. But he made a great poke as soon as I got to Huberto. And he's going to try to re reset and break out yet again with nine minutes to go in the first. Gets up to Crosby. I know it's a two on two. He's got stall. But I'm going to make sure he's... I'm, I'm not going to give him that back door. And I did. So that was kind of bad defense by me. I, I, knew, I knew that he was going to try to do that. So like I have Burns. I'm selected the right player. What I really could have done different... I should have been a little bit closer to him. He, to be fair, that's kind of decent position. That's decent position. But sometimes the pass just gets through. There's really not much more you can do. I feel like I played that pretty well. Um, but like it's hard. It's, I gave myself a best chance to be uh, switch on at Burns at least. So, um, you know, it happens. It's in the net. He's got the lead two one. Uh, obviously nine minutes in the in the first eight minutes left in the first. I mean, it is what it is. No big deal. I mean, there's plenty of game left. You can't get too flustered over it. Uh, I'm not fearing it at all. So, all right, he's up one, 8.25 to go. Face off here. I'm going to tie him up, get to Burns, try to get the zone entry. We got to Burns quickly. I uh, was looking for Katuri. Actually, I, I think I was really looking for the Fleur there, but I ended up going towards Katuri, and that didn't work out. So he's going to try to carry this in. Giving a hard time with the uh, zone entry right now, and there's actually my uh, my AI Katuri helping out there. I'll get in the puck, but now he's going to get it back. He's going to reset. Hansen's got it. Uh, he's going to drop it back to Hedman, but again, looking for that zone entry, but I give him a good hit there. He's going to gain the zone very easily here, but I'll make sure I'm going to switch to coffee so he can't pass it across. He has to respect that I'm controlling coffee, and he knows he can't get across. Make sure you're always doing that, guys. If you're switching to the right defenseman, he's not going to be able to force it. Like right now, if he passes it, it's a force. It's possible to get through, but it's not a very high percentage shot. It's just not. It's not at all. So I did that, and uh, that was very, very successful for me. He goes around the net right here. Uh, he's looking for an opportunity. I hit him off the puck. Coffee, let's reset. Lafleur, right now, I know I can't go up the boards yet. I have to wait, look for some help. Katuria could have been gone there, but uh, his AI was there to make a good play. So I bump off the puck again as he, gets, as he skates in with Katuria. Nice hit there, Lafleur. Reset, wait, wait, wait. Katuria, again, not really the best pass. I'm kind of rushing it here. Katuria, we have the zone here on the right side. Uh, drop it to Lafleur. Across ice to Voracek. A nice little play there. The only way that would really worked was a righty, probably. So it starts with a nice zone entry. I have a floor right here. So what I what I think right away is, all right, I, I have a guy wide open right here. So, uh, sorry, I went a little bit too far there, guys. Um, but going back to that zone entry, we'll have we'll a, a clear look at this again. So Lafleur, all right, to Couturier because he's wide open. Couturier, we're gonna, we were looking for Lafleur again, actually, but that's not really how it worked out. It was going more towards coffee. It kind of locked on to coffee. Um, and hits off his skate, and then I have a Fleur to Couturier, and I know I have the zone at that point, because I, I, I make that pass, and all his AI are just kind of frozen in the middle. Uh, and he's he's controlled, he eventually switches to Hansen, and I find Lafleur into the slot, but if that, was a, if that was a righty, it's a better chance of going in. Voracek on an awful uh, angle, and that's simply not going to go in at all. So that's unfortunate right there, and uh, here we go. So Hansen up the ice, Pasternak, and uh, we're going to have his puck again. McKinnon to Couturier, looking, 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 holding, holding we got Burns, to Couturier, nice little zone entry there. Can go back to Burns if we need, uh, but I, I didn't. Unfortunately, I went, went down. I went down low for it. Niedermeyer, Voracek, Burns, delayed penalty. Burns looking for Voracek. Niedermeyer, Burns again. Reset. Look for the open men. Niedermeyer, Couturier, send it across. Voracek. That was a beautiful, beautiful play. He kind of got a little lucky there, um, but again, look for the open men. He's wide open, guys. He's literally wide open. Just, just play that style. Uh, we right now we get it back to the point though. Have Burns. All right. Have Burns. Niedermeyer, again, Couturier is still open there. Find Couturier, 
and then I find Vortex side of the net for, you know, an opportunity there for a one-timer opportunity, and, you know, it doesn't go. It's a good save there. Unfortunately, my guy didn't shoot it, you know, properly, but that's how it goes sometimes. He's also been doing pretty well on 4-1 to so far. We lose that one, though, and uh, he's going to take the puck here. He's going to wait, got it to get to Carlson, up the ice to Nobels. Again, I'm controlling the right guy. I look for a hit there. And I actually make sure I'm switched over to the guy uh, more towards the slot, which is McKinnon. And that does not get across, thankfully. So we have McKinnon into the zone, looking, looking, looking for an entry. We have McKinnon waiting for Carlson. Now we're going to easily win in the net. Um, he's wide open, guys. Just find the open men, like I said. I had an easy zone entry because McKinnon flies up the wing. And we got Carlson. We got him wide open right there. Um, he's respecting my shot. And uh, his what he needed to do was switch to that guy. But he didn't in time. And, uh, you know, they skated back and it missed the net, unfortunately. Carlson, McKinnon, I look for a force there to Lemieux, what a save by Kemper, uh, it just, you know, it's a thing going, unfortunately, it, it's just how it goes sometimes, it's just how the cookie crumbles, so he clears it down the length of the ice, and actually that's a penalty, uh, he, he, he flips it over the boards right there, and uh, it is uh, a 5 on 3 opportunity here, you gotta score here, it's a too good of an opportunity, 33 seconds, 5 on 3, here's how you execute it, so I should have went straight back on that one, um, but he is going to actually win it, have the puck, and skated out of the zone with three seconds, two and one to go with Keith. And my goal makes a great save there. Uh, I definitely needed that one. I really messed up there. I really got too aggressive. And uh, that's it for the first period. Stats are pretty much even. Um, and that's really how it goes. I mean, it's it's a, a great game so far. And uh, we got a 5 on 3 still. So we definitely want to try to take advantage of that if we can. I mean, that's a huge opportunity. It really, really is. Down 2 1. You would like to get the game tied at least. So here we go. He ties me up. 15 to go on the 5 on 3. He skates in right away. I'm making sure I have coffee sel selected. I hit him with coffee. Gives Katuri a nice uh, speed rush here. Uh, I got another guy cutting. I wait with Katuri. We still got a minute on the power play. Sadine. Wait, wait, wait. No one's really open yet. We have people that are open. Katuri down low is fine. Definitely Sadin, Couturier, not really anything that I, I want. Like, I'm looking for that cross piece, but it's not available. So I look for Sadin down low, but he gets tied up there. Lafleur for Sadin, over to Couturier, and it's a wide open one-timer goal for Couturier. So basically what I saw here, of course, is, you know, the wide open guy. So Sadin, it should have got to him. Uh, what, what I really want to do is get to Sadin and then refers it back to Couturier, but that's not how it really worked out. So uh, then we got Lafleur, uh, definitely a wide open Sadin, and I know my, my Couturier is going to open up right side. He doesn't switch to this guy. He's just he's respecting me there, and uh, what he didn't do is he didn't switch to that guy. If he switched to that guy, it's an easy intercept, and Couturier doesn't get that one timer off. Instead, blast in the net, tie game. That's really the difference on that play, and uh, that's how this game is tied up at two. So, 18.51 to go. We got the goal we needed on the power play, at least. And uh, now it's really game on at this point. It's really game on. So, uh, here comes Pulak, passing it up. Couturier, he's got it over the zone. I make a quick poke there, and it's easy to leave my puck. Lemieux, to Voracek, to McKinnon. McKinnon, wait, wait, wait. I, that was definitely a force. I was kind of getting a little greedy uh, to try to get another one quick. Lemieux to Ekblad, wait, wait, wait. Voracek, the open man. Vorchek to Ekblad, Ekblad, wait, 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 look for the open man, no one's available, hold on, curl back, open down low, Vorchek, wait, 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 fine, open man, Lemieux, McKinnon, I was looking for what I was looking for on that play, uh, usually it's open against, again, again, he's a good player, it's hard to find these things open all the time, he's gonna obviously recognize and read, read them, so here we go, uh, I find Lemieux, I obviously was looking for Lemieux to go to McKinnon, eventually to go across to Vorchek, uh, for a one time goal, but he made a great poke there, and uh, he's able to get the puck, and I've actually eventually skated out with Parise, with 16 minutes to go in the second, I make a, a nice little poke, I find Nylander on a breakaway, Nylander's in, he makes a great, great save by his goalie, and I can't get the puck right now, I missed a net on a wide open net, that was really very unfortunate right there, that didn't work, uh, but it's okay, we got Carlson again, skate the zone, he gets to be the whole zone, he makes a nice little uh, defensive play there to get the puck, but I still switch back to Carlson, and uh, we get the puck back again, so uh, here we go. Uh, he's got Pulak, he's got it, to Dry Saddle right now, Leon's got it, to Hedman, I'm, again, I'm just, I'm taking the slot off, going down low right there, he's got the puck, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, switch to Carlson, my guys are all in the lane to get a block, my strategies, they work, if you ever want my strategies, I've, I've, I've done updated strats videos uh, pretty recently, I think like about a couple weeks ago, so definitely they're updated. Uh, Nico, I hold against the boards, he's letting me like make the change basically, makes a hit eventually though, we save with that pressure. One thing I like to always say is uh, definitely some of your defensemen, you know, make a, make a poke with your defensemen. He can play alive in the Ozone. It can really put another, another person uh, on their, you know, on their, uh, in, in a bad spot, you know. So, uh, here we go. 
in the ozone he's got it dancing down low lafleur but again i'm making sure i switch to carlson i switch, I switch dmn niedermeyer again he's got no one right now i hit him with niedermeyer he still has the puck switch to carlson though and then we have it eventually to couturier and we have with carlson i forced up the, the zone to carlson unfortunately nobel has got it though switching on carlson i make sure they take away the slot lafleur has got it we got the huberto and uh we got it over to couturier now for another zone entry i wait 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 and i find the jad i shoot it off the back of the net i should have actually passed it across probably was a, a nice little opportunity there um i'm gonna show it right right, right again actually i had an opportunity here what i could have done uh is i could have definitely passed the huberto actually wide open player right there and uh that would have been probably a goal so kind of a tough one there but uh, you know, it happens. It definitely happens. You, you make mistakes sometimes uh, in, in this game, and, and that's that's okay. That's definitely okay. So, um, it's it just be that way. It really, it really just be that way. So there you go. Oh, Avenger Zone face off here. Seven fifty six to go, and uh, we are going to lose this face off again. He ties me again. I've really got to start learning. And he's doing that all the time, especially in the O zone for me. He's always tying up, so I got to really recognize it. Stop doing that. That's for sure. So he skates into the zone here, gets it to Crosby, but I'm covering the guy there. So what he had to do there, of course, is go to the backhand forehand move because I took away the pass. Listen, I understand. It's kind of a hard thing there. What I could have really done is switch to, uh, you know, Miro here and then make a quick poke on Crosby. But what I did, I took Carlson and made sure the back door wasn't getting through. So that gave him the opportunity to go backhand forehand on this one. Thankfully, he missed. Or oh, I got a piece of it with Bishop. Uh, he got he had a nice little save there. Uh, other than that, I would have been in the net and uh, it would have been, you know, his lead. So a little lucky there, but... Uh, Nylander's got it, and we got to Crosby, a nice little block in the in the slot. Again, we got Nylander, or sorry, it's Zabinijad, uh, over to Taze, wide open zone entry there. Taze flying in, a nice little backseat move to Zabinijad. Zabinijad, fine, Heiskinen, looking for the open man, no one's really there. Heiskinen, still wait, curl back, Taze, wide open guy, Akblad at the point. Drive, score, Luke shot. So, it's really the puck movement, you find the open guy, sometimes you gotta just let it rip, and I did. So, again, I had Taze right there, wide open Ekblad. It's the only person that's really wide open. There's nowhere else to go, instead of, unless I wanted to reverse back to Miro. But I found Ekblad, and I know, okay, this is a decent little uh, opportunity. And the, the nuke shot again, the low blocker shot, it can work on the slap shot as well, a little, a little uh, low slapper. And it goes in, and it's a 3-2 lead with Lee in the second period, 4.44 to go. And uh, feeling really good at this point, feeling really, really good. I mean, this is a, a good position to be in. You know, have the lead, of course, against a player like Sky. I mean, 20-0 uh, is very, very good. So, um, that's really what you love to see so all right here we go burns we're gonna skate up into the zone here uh he's gonna make a nice little poke there we're gonna still fight with it though and he's gonna actually get it back but coffee right here i'm skating back i'm skating back and making sure i don't i don't you know get the uh, you know the the slot the middle um and you know he's gonna try to just force something through but he can't right now there's nothing there there's nothing there keith with it pool lock he's looking for the open man but i you know I, I'm, I'm reading that I'm, i know he's gonna pass it back to his d man so i read it and he gets forced out of the zone uh, he's got to work pretty quick here in the second period. It's almost over. Couturier to Lemieux. Lemieux, I know he's going to Parisian. I know he's going to try to look for that back door. So what I did was switch to the guy in the back door and then watch, guys. So basically, his, limit, his opportunities are very limited when I do that. So Lemieux right now. Okay. So he's got the puck, all right, with Parise right now. He wants to pass it across, but I'm switched on to him, taking away the pass, right? Taking away the pass, uh, and now what's he going to do? I mean, it's a very challenging situation to be in. Um... At that point, he has to literally just try to go for a shot, but there's nothing there because my AI is coming back. I'm taking away that side, so my AI gets back and takes the puck from him. Right there. Easy play. There you go. You love to see it. Late in the second now, we get another another opportunity here. Sadim with it. Over to Burns. Another little low blocker shot, but that was a little bit too high there, and he makes a save easily. Nylander, I'm looking for a guy across, but I made a, a bad pass there. looking for Sadim there, but made a bad pass. Parise into the zone again. Looking for Lemieux, Lemieux, looking for something in the slot, but again, I'm, I'm covering it with Burns, and I, I, actually, a nice little play there by him, I'm not gonna lie, it was a nice play, uh, so basically, what happened here, uh, again, I, I got a little bit too jittery, like, I, I should have hit him with Burns, I didn't do that, I let him, I gave him too much time, uh, so then, he got to, to Leon, so what I really should have done is either switch to Coffee or one of the Sedins, I think, back here, uh, and then I really had a chance to get it, uh, other than that, uh, I'm pretty much screwed at that point, so, uh, I didn't switch to Coffee, and I didn't switch to Sedin, and uh, automatically he is going to tie the game at three on that. So it's kind of unfortunate there, but um, you know it's honestly on me. It really is, and I can definitely recognize that. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, act like he got lucky. It was a good play, and uh, the game is tied again at three apiece. Again, 20 no player. He's going to play well. It's not going to be an easy game by any means, and why, why would it be, right? So period's going to end there. 3-3 heading into the third period. Obviously, again, playing amazing is what he's doing. 
stats are dead on even and uh you know i think it's gonna stay the same so here we go third period tie game three to three and we're gonna find out you know who can get it done who's gonna be clutch here in the third period all right so here we go three three uh he's gonna win the face off to headman to lemieux lemieux with it and uh lemieux's gonna skate in the zone i'm taking it away I'm, I'm you know playing the body there nice little hit to lemieux bring it out to mckin for ekblad to mckinnon and i find a vortex across mckinnon there to voracek and a quick shot and a quick goal Beautiful zone entry, and uh, he's looking for a timeout uh, right away, I believe. So, I had McKinnon right here. Okay. I know I have so many guys coming up. Voracek's with me. Go to Voracek. Easy zone entry. Nice little sauce there to Voracek. And I know at that point, I don't really have anything. So, I freeze him up there. I hold forehand. And I know he's... He, unless he switches that player, he's not getting the puck. He's not. All right. So, hands is right there, and I get it to McKinnon. And what I was really thinking about doing, potentially, I could have easily gone back to Voracek, and then gone across to Lemieux, but, 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 it's a little bit more of a challenging play right there, so, Lemieux's kind of getting covered on the back door, so, that's the other thing, he's getting a bit covered, McKinnon, sorry, Lemieux, uh, if I can give another, another look here, yes, so, he has this guy, he's selected this guy, so it's very hard, very hard, what he needed to do is either be switched on to this guy, or that guy, um, to probably get a poke on this, other than that, I just snipe at home, and he's, obviously, panic, uh, pausing this game to try to, you know, get a timeout quickly, and uh, reset things and maybe you know, change some of the momentum. Obviously, people think that's a, a big thing, of course, when timeouts happen. But I don't know about that. So, um, there you go right there. We have the lead, the one goal lead. And uh, we're really happy. We're happy about that, that's for sure. But a long way to go still in this game, of course. And uh, we, uh, we're we going to see what we can do here. So, we're going to move forward here. And uh, off the face off, he gets Katuri in the zone. Parise, he's gonna move in. A great save by Bishop. I got very, very lucky there. What I didn't do there was I didn't make a, a step up. I didn't poke or anything like that. So he had a quick zone entry. He got in, and I just kind of backed off. So I was selected this guy. I should have selected the Ekblad quickly. I selected the Ekblad. I gotta make a poke right here. There's a time where I can have Ekblad control. Poke off the puck, and it's ours. But I didn't do that. And I, right now, my AI just gets, of course, fooled, obviously. And it's an easy save. Not an easy save, but a good save by Bishop. And I throw it to the middle. Dangerous play to do that. Uh, but we're going to have Heiskanen. I'm going to look up the boards. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around a little bit. I'm having some uh, some issues here. So, uh, we're going to you know have some good possession there with McKinnon getting it. I have McKinnon over to Lemieux. But he missed the net, which is very unfortunate. Uh, and he's going to break out yet again. Parise across. And Lemieux could finally get it to him. And uh, here comes Lemieux. He's going to look for the zone entry. I'm giving him a hard time. Making sure he's not getting an easy zone entry. Uh, Lemieux right there. And uh, back to hands. And he really has to reset here. Waits, waits. Again, he can't find any zone entry right now. I'm just really doing a good job. Now, here comes Lemieux again. Waiting, waiting into the slot. But I know, I'm covering the slot, guys. I'm covering the slot. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, he's not going to have that opportunity. He's not going to have that opportunity again in the zone that easily. That's for sure. And get, get a high percentage shot like that. So, another drop for Ekblad. Another, another way to zone, have zone entries, all right? So, as you can see, I have a LaFleur right here, right? And I drop it back for, for my D-man. Uh, and I find it through Ekblad as well. I think it's very important. He sure, back to Ekblad. Because then, look, he's poking as if he sure is there, right? But now I have Ekblad coming with a head of steam. So, but, 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 but unfortunately, the AI got a piece of that puck for me. Uh, so I, I would have been in if it wasn't for the AI, but, you know, he got the puck. Nothing you can do there, right? 14 minutes here. Um, and, he, you know, we're in a good position. So Matthews, I'm looking for a nice poke with Ekblad. We're still sticking with it. Dry settle. I'm with Heesher. I select the Heesher. Get a little incidental contact. We pass it down low for my Couturier. He's wide open there. Katuri, I wait, I wait, wait, I wait, I wait. I find Heesher cutting in the slot. Katuri, uh, Heesher, sorry. Uh, looking back for Katuriye, but uh, unfortunately his guy was in the lane. So we had a nice little pass here to Heesher. I got a little lucky on that. I'm not going to lie to you uh, how his AI just didn't, like, you know, go for it. But again, that's 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 coming down to, you know, being selected on the on the player and, uh, and he wasn't. So uh, I have Heesher there. I look for Lafleur back to Katuri, but again, a nice little, you know, defensive position there he was in. So uh, Ekblad to Niedermeyer to Couturier to Lafleur. What an amazing save that was, though. Um, again, find the open guys. I say it all the time, but here it is. Couturier. Right now, where am I supposed to go? There's nowhere else to go. Maybe down low, but that's even a risky play. Wide open guy at the point is Ekblad. So, find Ekblad. Give it a go very quickly across, because if you, if you wait too much, too much, I mean, you can definitely turn it over very, very easily. So, I get to Niedermeyer very quickly, and I know at that point, my guy's cutting back to the slot, which is Couturier to Couturier. And at this point, I could either go to Lafleur or over to Heesha right here. Really, both high percentage plays, um, and, and usually they're going to be open. Uh, and it's, in this situation, Lafleur was open. Lafleur shot it very awkwardly, and it didn't go in. So uh, that's okay, though. All right. So 11 minutes here. Lafleur still got it. I'm cutting towards the net. Find Heesha. Couturier to Heesha. He defends that. Good positioning by him. 
And uh, Pasternak's got it into the zone. I'm holding my offensive skill stick out. He can't go anywhere besides hold to the outside. Uh, again, I'm, I'm making sure I get back to the slot with that play. He tries that shot again. I said on the on the red red line right there. It's kind of a, a sharp angle, but it goes in sometimes. Lafleur, wait, 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 wait to, to the fenceman Niedermeyer. Wait again to the man Sedin cutting. Sedin with it. Sedin waiting for help. Wait down low. Wide open Henrik Sedin. Henrik, he's got it. Henrik to Daniel. I'm looking for an open guy at the point. It's Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer waits. Sedin down low. I eventually get to, to Daniel Sedin. Daniel's got it. I get hit down, down low. To Nylander. I was, what I was looking for on that situation, guys, well, as you can see, okay, is right here with Henrik, okay? I have Henrik, I find Nylander, and I'm looking for a return for Henrik. And uh, either on that, I could either one-time it, or potentially cut in and find uh, Daniel Sini at the side of the net. So there's, there's a lot of different things that could be done on that situation, but unfortunately we didn't get the, the pass connect there. So he's got Heisken in with the puck, seven minutes to go here, and uh, Nobles skates it in. He's going to crank here, but again, I'm going to make sure I take away the pass, so he has to go to the backhand forehand route, does not hit that one again. Uh, and, and unfortunately, we're going to get out of this uh, zone right here. Six minutes, Carlson to Taves. Taves up to Niedermeyer. Skated in with a D-man. Nothing wrong with that. Niedermeyer, hold the LT. Wait, wait, wait. Get a quick shot there. It's a high percentage shot as well, guys. Um, I think a lot of people, a lot of people just like run at you. So, uh, And also just try to like take the back door right away. So this can really fool people. If, you, if, if Say like, all right, for instance, look, he's taking the back door, right? He's taking the back door. And he's trying to take Taves here. So that gives me a position to curl back and back skate with uh, Niedermeyer and actually get a high quality shot, in my opinion. Uh, that definitely goes in, in the slot. So he passes it out quickly. Five minutes to go here, and he really has to hurry up. 5.08, I make a quick poke there, and we get the puck out of the zone to Huberto, and we are offside there, trying to get a quick zone entry uh, in there. So, uh, getting late again, and uh, that's all I can say. 4.48 right here, and uh, we are going to tie up here, and I'm going to get the puck here. 30 to go. Pool locks with it. I got it again though, but he gets it back again. And four minutes to go. And now here we go. I make a quick defensive skills stick with Burns. He makes a quick pass into the slot, but a very, very tough angle to get that one through. Unfortunately, uh, we're able to get the puck. Again, another turnover again, but then now to get three on one. But what I do is I mess up and I do not switch off the coffee in time. And I do not, I do not go over to where I need to be. So a bad turnover at the line again. Uh, I really couldn't get it out. So at this point, I'm dead in the water. So, of course, I switch on to coffee. That's the right thing to do. But what I didn't do, I, I, I didn't stick to just going towards Crosby. I turned last second, and I was facing towards the goal instead of facing towards Crosby, which you need to be facing towards the player and instead of the, po the pass. And I didn't do that, and uh, he makes a good pass. And this game is tied with three minutes and two seconds to go. Four to four. I'm pretty heartbroken at this point. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I played a pretty good game, and I'm still in a position where, you know, next goal will probably win. So, my 89 Crosby scores it up, scores it for him. He's got a couple hot champs cards as well. I mean, as he's gotten 20 and 0. Uh, a few times as well. So he's a tremendous player. He's beaten a lot of great players. And uh, here we go. 302 left. Got to really dig down deep in this one and uh, try to find a way. So the face off here, what we do is we tie up with the puck with Huberto. Fourth line has it. Huberto with it. I wait. I backseat, backseat, backseat. Finds a finish at the back door post. And we tap it in for a 5 4 lead. So basically, what happened on this situation is uh, we have Huberto here. Again, what do I say? So. He, he simply, he went for a poke there. He didn't expect me, to, he, he thought I was gonna go uh, around the net, like a, you know, try to circle around the net, but I didn't do that. So I, I hold back, I hold back. And at this point, he's not switching to the correct player. Uh, my man is wide open at the side of the post, which is the Benajad. Easy pass across. And uh, this game is a 5-4 lead for us with 2.31 to go in regulation time. And gotta really buckle up now. That's all I can say. Gotta really, really buckle up now. So there you go. It's a 5-4 lead here. And, uh, you know, we got to just play good defense. Really, that's what it comes down to at this point. So he's got Katuri into the zone to Lemieux. Lemieux's got it. I have my guy down low there, fortunately. Got to reverse it. We turn over to Katuri, though, unfortunately, to Parise. But we have he's got Katuri to Hedman to Hansen. Again, to Benajad's there at the line. Let's hate it out. We are simply under a minute to go now. I, he's obviously getting defensive skill slip, but Zabinijad's a force in the puck right now. Look at him go. Does not lose the puck at all. Tavorichek, I have it. To Zabinijad, I try to go to the backhand there. He made a, well, actually, I believe it was his goalie that made the poke. So we found Zabinijad cutting off the bench. Uh, we need someone right there. Uh, sorry, was it Voracek? And then we had Zabinijad back there. And that backhand would have scored, but his goalie, look at that, poked that last second. That would have been in. That would have been the dagger. But unfortunately, we couldn't get that one to uh, convert. So now he's got it with Parise. He's got still time. 45 seconds, plenty of time. We got Ekblad. 
And uh, he is going to the slot of Headman. Headman, he's looking for that pass. I'm taking it away. I have Voracek controlled. Voracek still controlled. I'm looking for him with Voracek, but I'm switching back to Lemieux so he can't get that, that uh, animation for that forehand to the net. 30 seconds on to go. Get it to Lemieux. Lemieux with it. I'm looking for Heisken and cutting, but let me just try to get back on defense with Heisken. That's the most important thing. So here we go now. 21 seconds left. He's got to really make, some, make something happen quick. Heisken, a nice little poke there. But I'm going to make sure I'm going to still go towards the slot. And uh, now Voracek, a quick hit on Lemieux. And we're still hanging in there. A nice, a nice little, that's a huge poke. So that poke is very huge right here. So as you can see, he's really trying to get something towards the slot. Uh, and right now, uh, it's getting late. And with that hit by Voracek, Last second, I had that poked by Heiskanen. He could have actually had a chance at the side of the net. He didn't get it. I skated up with Lemieux. Game's pretty much over. To Voracek, to McKinnon. That's GG right there. We're going to win this game 6-4. to four. A phenomenal, phenomenal game, really. And uh, Skylix is a tremendous player. And that was a really, really even game, I'd say. And uh, we played amazing. So, as you can see, the stats are pretty much dead on even. 14-12 uh, were the shots for me. 6-4 is the game. 9-54 TOA, 941 uh, time of attack. Uh, really just an overall very, very good game, and uh, it was a fun game to play against, and I hope some of the tips that I, I said and, and mentioned in, the, in this video definitely helps you guys. I always hope it does, and uh, that's really why I do these videos, so to help you guys out. I mean, that's all I can say. We beat this guy. He's 20-0, uh, and that's all I can really, that's really all I can do for today, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. If you made it all the way to the end, please, please tell me. That means a lot. When you guys say I watched the whole video, that means so much. It really does. So, Enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik. We're live there every day for live gameplay if you want to see it. I can break down and give you more tips while I'm live. Um, again, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Remember, use code Henrik for all G Fuel purchases, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.